Okay, I'm going to teach you how to compress and minify your JavaScript and style sheets in your theme. So for this demo, I'm using the boss theme, but this will really work with any of our themes. And first, let me just show you what's going on. So I'm going to go ahead and view source in my browser, and I'll do a search for .css, which is what our style sheets are. There are 15 style sheets being loaded, and .js, you can see there are 41 JavaScript files being loaded. Some of these are coming from the theme, some are coming from various plugins, and some are coming from WordPress itself. But nonetheless, there are a lot of assets that need to be downloaded in order for someone to view your website. And some of those assets are minified, but a lot aren't. So what does that mean? Well, when you minify uh, a JavaScript file or a style sheet file, you take all of the white space in that file and remove it. And then the file is smaller in size, and it's also faster for the browser to scan through it. So we're going to go ahead and fix this so that your site will load faster. So we're going to go ahead and head to the dashboard and go to Plugins, Add New. And we're going to do a search for Better WordPress Minify. This is the plugin that we'll be using. Here it is, Install. It's installing. and activate. Okay, so that plugin is set up, and then let's go to settings. Okay, so we're gonna wanna leave uh, uh, compressing JavaScript files and style sheet files checked. This is the whole point of the plugin. And then let's enable leaving external files at the original positions, just in case some plugins are doing this. We don't wanna break anything. And then for Cache Buster, basically what this is doing is appending uh, a number to the end of the style sheet or JavaScript file that's being outputted. So actually, let's save this and take a look at the front end real quick. And view source, and we'll look for .css. So it still shows 15 files, but it's not actually 15. Um, .css is just being put in the file name a bunch of times, and really all of our style sheets, except for the external resources, are combined into one one, one minified file. So you can see this is just all the styles from the site all combined together, which will make everything considerably faster. And .js is doing the same thing. This is one big JS file. But you'll notice what is missing here is something appended to the end. You can see it's just .js. So what happens is if, if you're using a content delivery network, um, whenever you update your site, the URL is still gonna be exactly the same and the content delivery net network will not know to bust its own cache, and that means you'll start serving stale files in the content delivery network after a while, and so we want to append a number at the end like this. So the way we're going to do this is in Cache Buster, we're going to use Cache Folders Last Modified Time. Let me save that, and it's effectively a random number that's put at the end. So if I refresh this, you can see now it's got this string of numbers at the end, and every time you uh, refresh the cache for your minified files, that number is going to change. and It'll therefore cause your CDN to be up to date. And then cache age, we can set this to be whatever we want. I'm going to go with seven days because uh, why not give it some time? Now, one important thing to remember here is anytime you update your theme or update your plugins or update WordPress, this is still serving... Um, the minified files that are in the cache for the next seven days. So that stuff's going to be stale. And when you update a theme or plugin, chances are, or, or WordPress, chances are it's updating style sheets in JavaScript. So this is really important. You're going to want to go in here and click flush cache every time you do that. So it regenerates regen everything. Okay. Let's over, head over to advanced options. This is all for integrating with the content delivery network. You can use this. Uh, I don't. I recommend using a plugin specifically for content delivery networks called CDN Linker. Um, you can just search that in Google and the first result will be GitHub. You can click download zip here and upload this plugin. Um, I'll do another tutorial all about this, but basically this plugin allows you to serve style sheets, JavaScript files, and images through your content delivery network and it's very reliable. So I recommend using that and just skipping this. This The two will work together fine. And then under Manage and Queued Files, you can see the list of all the files that are going to be 
uh, compressed, compressed and combined in here. And it tells you where it's going, if it's going in the header, in the footer, or if it's ignored, meaning it's going to be excluded entirely. And you're going to want to respect, you're going to want to um, make sure that's correct. Out of the box, it basically should be correct. Like relative files with relative paths are going to be ignored, and that's how you want it. Um, but in styles, you're going to want to make sure to exclude a couple if you're making changes to your site. So we have um, options.css. Now, out of the box, this is actually not going to be ignored. I had already set this. Options.css is where the customizer writes to. So if you're in the boss theme and you go into appearance, customize, and change the colors, it's going to write to those color changes to options.css, and your site's going to serve the old versions of options.css. So you're going to want to click select and click not minify. Um, you can see I already had that in there, but you're going to want to add that to the exclusions list. And then also uh, the custom, custom.css, which I have here, um, you're going to want to add that to the exclusions list as well if you're editing your, your child theme. Because when you go into your child theme, edit custom.css to change the colors of your site, again, it's going to serve the minified file. So if you add that to the exclusions list, it won't be minified. And then if you're really happy with your site, you know everything's exactly as you want, you could take those out of the exclusions list if you'd like to, but just remember. And then click Save Changes. And now everything should be good. Your site is going to be serving just a handful of resources, and they are combined together and minified, and it should be a lot faster.